this video tutorial, we will demonstrate the steps needed to complete a comprehensive and accurate single cable size calculation using Electrical OM software. The first step is to set the main supply. This can be done by right-clicking on the schematic area or the tree network view and then selecting Insert Source. In our example, we will calculate a three-phase cable, so we will need a three-phase source. To edit the main supply, simply double-click on the tree element symbol or the schematic symbol. In the edit window, you can specify all the details for the supply, such as the source voltage and the earthing system. In this tutorial, we will keep the default values. Also, the system under study is public served, so we choose the voltage drop limits to comply with the latest regulations for a public source. More information about the voltage drop selection can be found by clicking the info icon next to the selection option. Software provides a list to choose the method of supply, such as General Source Transformer or Generator, to determine the fault conditions at the origin of the installation. The first method of supply option recommends the fault conditions by specifying the supply cable and length. The next step is to set the circuit supplied by the main source. This can be done by adding the main distribution circuit by right-clicking the main supply Insert Distribution Board 3-Phase. From the circuit editor, we will set all the parameters needed for the cable size calculation. First, we choose to set the load as predefined, and we specify the design current of the circuits. Also, we can specify more details such as the power factor and any third harmonic content presented in the circuits. In the first tab, we can specify the cable type and installation method. The filters and options can help the engineer choose the desired cable type. Also, the graphical representation and description of the installation methods provide comprehensive information during the installation method selection. Having selected the cable type and the installation method, the next step is to set the circuit protective conductor settings. For this example, we will choose to use the armor of the cable as a circuit protective conductor. Next, we need to specify the overcurrent protective device. In our example, we will choose a 63 amperes type C MCB with braking capacity of 15 kA. During cable sizing calculations, it is important to set any correction factors based on the installation conditions. These can be the ambient temperature factor, the run-through thermal insulation factor, and the circuit grouping factor. Also, correction factors related to depth of lay and ground resistivity are available for installations in ground. Other factors are automatically calculated for compliance with BS7671. In the Voltage Drop Settings tab, the user can specify the voltage drop split limit. This is usually used during modeling of distribution boards supplying final circuits. In the example, we will choose the Without the Split Limit option, so the voltage drop checks will be based on the global limit. At this point, we can calculate the required cable size by going back to the Phase and Neutral Conductor tab and pressing the Find button that can be found next to the cross-sectional area selection. This will select the minimum cable size required to satisfy all the calculation warnings. If we select a smaller size from the list, we can see the reason why the software has selected the particular cable size. In our example, the protective device is causing the maximum earth fault loop impedance check to fail for cable sizes smaller than 70 square millimeters. The engineer can also choose to use parallel conductors if required. After setting the desired number of the parallel conductors and pressing the Find button again, the cross-sectional area will be resized to the minimum size required, 
taking into account the parallel conductor settings. A detailed calculation analysis report is generated by pressing the print button at the circuit editor menu. The report can be directly printed or saved electronically as PDF. The electrical OM software can be downloaded by registering through our website www.electricalom.com. Thank you for watching.